watching Oasis TV. Carl, you're part of our church, Oasis Church. Mm -hmm. Carl preaches at Oasis Church sometimes. Mm -hmm. He's part of the fivefold ministry at Oasis Church. Yep. And we just have a blast we in the glory of God. And you're we a do. good friend of mine as yeah, well. Yeah, I'm a very close friend <laughs> of pastors. And uh, I'm, I'm an apostle and I'm called to promote the Holy Spirit. And so I flow in all the gifts, whatever the Holy Spirit wants to do. And I really operate in a lot of joy. I have a lot of joy in the services. So if you need some joy, it's going to hit you tonight. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, the Bible says the joy of the Lord is our strength. It is my strength. That's I, how we, I need it all the time. Me too. I, I really do too. That's how I operate in supernatural strength is through the joy of the Lord. Yeah. It's staying full of the joy. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And faith worketh by love too also. <laughs> Amen. It does. It really does. Awesome. Yeah. Praise God. It looks like we've got about 10 people on. So we're going to go ahead and jump on uh, tonight. Go ahead and start. And I see there's about 10 people. If there's somebody you know that could that you want to be blessed by this broadcast, For again, real. you can share it anytime, get it out there. Yeah. We just want to bless the body of Christ. That's what we're here yeah. for. Carl, I know the Lord has really given you a word for tonight and put mm -hmm. some things on your heart. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just take off and, and share what's, okay. what he's put in your heart tonight? Hallelujah. Uh, he kind of talked, he was talking to me about spiritual therapy. He said, it's time for many of my people this week or this month to get spiritual therapy. And I'm here to encourage you to get you back in that peace of God and get you back into the rest of God. Uh, you were in it maybe a few weeks ago. It's, something's happened. Could have been your job. Could have been the kids. It could be your your anything. Relatives, your in-laws. Uh, come on. The outlaws are in-laws. That's called <laughs> Roberta's side of the, my wife's side of the family, the outlaw side. But whatever it is, the God wants you to get back into his rest. He wants you to get back into your peace because the peace of God, which passes all understanding to guards, it guards and it protects your heart in, in Christ Jesus. And so we're tonight, by the time we finish the broadcast, you will be back in the peace of God. Amen. Amen. And tomorrow you'll be thinking about peace, rest. I got to rest. I got to uh, I got to don't do no work, but just make sure you, if you do any work, work to get in the rest, stay in that rest of God because Jesus paid for it. He said, everything's finished. It's done. I don't have to do anything else. He said, it's done. So just, I'm, I'm here to die to encourage you to get back into that peace of God. And he says, then he says in the new living in Philippians four, seven, if you got your Bible, if you'd like to, uh, just take notes, just start writing down, grab you a pen real quick, but definitely call somebody and say, you've got to get on Facebook. You've got to see these two because they're, we are speaking very prophetically tonight for this. It's a word in due season. How pleasant, how beautiful it is when a word is spoken in due season, right? Amen. And if you're a pastor, pastors, we welcome you and we're here for you. We're, we're pastors that are here for you. We want to encourage. We're, he, we're here to work alongside you and encourage you. I know it's hard to trust people because him and I know because we trust each other, but we don't trust a whole lot of people because we had to guard that anointing that's on our life. God's really given us a lot. And when God's given you a lot, much is required, right? And so yeah. we don't have a lot of people to talk to about certain things, right? So one thing he said in the new trans, uh, the new living translation in Philippians four, seven, he says, then you will experience God's peace, mm. which exceeds, it exceeds and it surpasses anything. Read that anything we can understand. So that peace of God, it surpasses and it goes past anything that you and I can understand. It's that peace. And you and I get it free through grace of God. And it's just awesome. beautiful. It's freely given. Yeah. Freely you've given, now freely receive. You know, you freely you freely you receive, now freely give. So I give out peace tonight. I'm a peacekeeper. <laughs> I'm going to throw you some peace tonight. And he says, his peace will guard your heart tonight. Let's guard our heart in that peace, okay? He wants to guard, his peace will guard your heart and your mind. The peace of God guards your mind also as, as you live in Christ Jesus. Great peace of they whose mind is stayed upon the Lord. Yeah. All you've got to do is get your mind back on the Lord because he says, let this mind be in you, which also in Christ. So keep your mind in on God and you'll stay in peace. Perfect peace. Carl, that's good what you said there. As you were talking about the peace of God yes. that passes all understanding will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Think about this. The Bible talks about the helmet of salvation. Mm -hmm. The helmet of salvation is the piece of, war, of 
armor that protects the head. The head is the mental realm. The mental realm is now Powerful. this goes right along with what you were saying. One time I was praying and the Lord tied two verses together and it goes back to peace. Mm -hmm. It was, um, I think Romans 14, 17, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, peace. and joy in the Holy Spirit. And then he tied that to 1 Thessalonians 5.23. This says, 1 Thessalonians 5.23 says, And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of the Lord. And what the revelation that came to me was this. As we look at the kingdom of God, righteousness is salvation for the spirit of man. We're given the gift of righteousness. We're made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Peace is is salvation for the mind because mind is where the enemy is after us and the peace of God saves our mind. So powerful. Paul said that in, in James chapter one, Paul says, um, receive the, with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save, save your, soul, your soul, your soul, your suke, your mind, your mind, your will and emotions. And then he said, uh, righteousness, peace, the peace of God, and joy. The kingdom is joy. Mm -hmm. What does joy do? Joy, a merry heart doeth good like a, like medicine. a medicine. Joy is the salvation of the body. Mm -hmm. So when he says the kingdom is coming, the kingdom is here, he's saying, I'm giving you righteousness for your spirit. I'm giving you peace to guard your mind. Man. And I'm giving you joy to heal your body and walk in divine health. And that's for us. right with what you're saying. That's for us. Hallelujah. That is, that's for us. Oh my gosh. He's one of the best teachers. I love, I love my pastor. <laughs> hey, man. You're a great but, teacher. But he says, listen, he, and there's another thing, grace. He said, he told Paul, he said, my grace is sufficient. So whatever you've been going through, you're going to go through it. But God's grace is going to be sufficient, and you're coming back into the peace. You're coming back into the rest of God because God's grace is sufficient. It's sufficient for me. Hallelujah. So I just got to lean on the Lord, become weak that he can be strong in me, right? Yeah. And walk in love, just no matter what, let it all go. Anything that's bugging you about people, let it go. <laughs> Pray for them. Yeah. Pray for them and God will give you a heart for them because many people work. You work eight to five, you know, and you have to deal with people out there. Sometimes the best thing to do is to pray for people that might be... Uh, kind of blocking you or trying to uh, resist something and, and the enemy's working through them, just pray for him. Pray for him and love on him. You know, you just gave a huge key about maintaining peace because the Bible says, bless those that curse for, curse you and pray for those that despitefully use you. Amazing. When you do that, God sets you free from any malice that would come into your heart or mind that is and true. poison you and hinder your walk with God so that you can be free from bitterness, poison, malice, okay. and just love people with the love of God. And how do we do that? I can't love people in the, the love James Fortune has. No, no. I got to be filled. This is one of the keys of being filled with the Holy oh, Spirit yeah. is Romans 5.5. 5. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. How? By the Holy Spirit, Spirit, which is given unto us. When I pray in tongues, when I worship, I'm getting filled with God. Oh, God worship. is love. <laughs> when I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, I don't love you with my love. I love you with God's love. Thank goodness. It's a better love. <laughs> it's a better love. It's You'd agape. rather me love you in God's love because yes. it's agape. Yes. yes. The agape love, love of God. I love it. I love so it. So the Spirit-filled life is the only way we can have victory. You know, I can't, like the Bible talks about, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put on the Lord Jesus Christos, the anointed Jesus and his anointing. That humbleness. And make no provision for, for the flesh, flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Woo. So you think about what that means. It's like, Every day, okay, I'm going to live, choose to live a crucified life. Yeah. I'm going to lay my life down and I'm going to say, Lord, I'm weak without you. I need to put on the Christos, the anointed Jesus and his anointing. Jesus clothed me in you so I, you can live and move and have your being through me and I can live and move and have my being through you. Right? And, and that just takes all the pressure off me to live in me because I don't like living in me. I like living in Christ. And as soon as you, you get so used to living in Christ, once you get into the natural, you're like, uh-uh, I won't back in. Because you learn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's just a learning. There's a testing. There's a proving. And, God, and tonight, that's what you're doing. You're jumping back into the Lord your mind and keep the perfect peace have they whose mind has stayed upon the Lord. Amen. Man, and I, I got some more things too. He said, my power works best in weakness. So as I'm weak, I say, Lord, 
I'm not weak in the natural, but I'm weak as far as anything. I can't change anything, but you can help change things. I can change, all I can do is work on me, but you can change everything else. And so I become weak that you can become strong in me, that they'll see you in me and I won't retaliate. I always think being in the flesh is called retaliation. We want to retaliate when we get in our flesh. We want to protect our flesh. Right. I mean, we do anything to protect the natural and that's what God says, let it go. Let it go. Let that go. Let that go. So, and then another thing he says in the BSB, he says, my power is perfect, Carl, in weakness. So if you, you feel weak tonight, guess what? God's power is perfect in you tonight. And he says, so that the power of Christ might rest on me. So if I become, as I become weak, then his rest comes on me and I can live in him. And then I have that rest and I have that peace. And that's exactly where God wants us. He says, Carl, have you lost your peace? Have you lost your rest? Become weak for me. Yeah. I'm like, God, I'm so dependent on you. The longer you're in this, I've been in this almost 40 years. The more you're in it, the more you're like, God, I'm learning more now than I ever did in my younger years. I'm learning the most crucial things, how to keep my mind stayed on the Lord. Amen. Yeah. And that, it's so interesting because when you talk about the weakness, Carl, some people want to make a confession that, I'm only strong, but but what, what you're really talking about is the fact that if we're not careful, the areas we're naturally gifted in yep. will do in the flesh mm -hmm. and the areas we're weak in will do in the spirit. Let you're me right. give you this example. Like right. when the Lord saved me and told me he called me to preach, mm -hmm. it freaked me out because my, my greatest fear was public speaking. <laughs> and then I remember I, I, but by faith, you know, we operate by faith. Uh -huh. Super. So the first time I was going to go speak, I was <laughs> sick to my stomach, <laughs> scared to death. I know that's a good, a good confession, but I was, yeah, yeah. I was terrified. <laughs> and I remember there was a girl singing a song before I got up and, and I heard the Holy Spirit audibly in my spirit. And he said, this may be your first sermon, but it's not my first sermon. Ooh. And it, it just, and he said it with swagger. He said it with cockiness. Wow. And what I figured out is, even though I was terrified, because I knew I would fall flat on my face, when I stood up there on that platform to yep. take the service, a sheet of God's power came it on me. Him. The Spirit is in me for me, but it's a, upon me for you. for you. The Spirit came upon me and it was like I was standing back in the back watching what happened as God moved supernaturally through my life. And I went, oh my gosh, I had no concept of what this would be like yeah. where he is just speaking through somebody. He is using somebody yeah. by his anointing yeah. and it's not you. And the longer you function in that, the more confidence you gain that, it's not confidence in you. It's confidence no, it's in Christ. Always in he's him. always there. He always he's, has something to say. He's You're like, I don't faithful. know how this is going to go. Right. But then God just opened your mouth. <laughs> Open. He it's says, a, it's yeah. amazing. Open your mouth and I'll feel it. And so I'll some, feel it. We just got to be ready to open our mouth. I mean, that's just what Jesus said when we go before, you know, he talked about if you go before a court or if you go before, I'll give you the words to say in the moment. Yeah. And that's the thing. We have the Holy Spirit, the great and mighty Holy Spirit mm -hmm. within us. Yeah. We are not natural people. No, no. We're supernatural people. We really are. And because of that, we mm -hmm. don't have to be... Um, we don't have to have the same limitations. No. Saying of God, you don't have the same limitations no. of somebody that's not born again. You you have unlimited power, unlimited ability. No. Jesus said that you talk about the the weakness and the strength of God, and that goes back to Acts one or Acts one eight, where it says, "You shall receive power yeah. after that the Holy Ghost has come upon." you and you shall be witnesses unto me. Now that Greek word power, dunamis, one really good translation of it is ability. You'll receive God's ability. God's it's God's ability. super on our natural that takes our natural to another level that we couldn't do because his super is on us mm. and his supernatural power is on you. And whatever you face in whatever situation you have, the power of God, just call upon him and ask him where you're weak, Come he on. will be strong. Come he on. will give you his grace and his power to have superior wisdom. And this doesn't just work. I get addicted to it. The Holy Spirit's... 
Yeah. All the spirit I get, I'm so addicted to it. Forget <laughs> anything else in the world. Right. I'm addicted to God. And that's yeah. the best addiction to have, right? Right. It doesn't take all your money. <laughs> it, don't it, take, it doesn't <laughs> leave you uh, with a headache. And or, I sleep uh, good at night. Uh, yeah, exactly. You have peace in your heart peace, and mind. rest, yeah. It's a very good addiction And I get to, to hear God <laughs> download me. <laughs> I love yeah. being downloaded. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> that's wonderful. Awesome. Uh, another thing he talks about is faith, uh, favor and grace are the same. You know, we, we say grace and favor, but they're the same. You have the favor of God. So you don't have to say, well, where's God in this, Carl? I don't have no peace. God's right there. He's just a breath away. All you got to do is say, Father, I just think you're going to take care of this, and I'm going back into peace. And he, tonight is your peace night. Tonight is a night. It says He says, this is what you're going, you're at the point of your victory. Tonight is, you're at a point of victory. We're here for your victory tonight. Amen. You're getting back into Christ. You're getting back into the mind of God. You're getting back in the rest of God. And we're here for you. Amen. James and I will be here all the time. We're here for you. We're here to help you overcome the things of this world so you can keep focused in on what your purpose is and what God has predestined you to do. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> and as you're watching this, if you have a prayer request, please just leave a comment on the prayer request because yeah. we want to pray for you yeah. before this broadcast is out. What else do you have, Carl? He says, uh, don't let anything pull us out of the rest of God. Whatever's pulling you out of your the rest of God, jump back in. Say, no, no, no. I got to get my mind back on God. Get the praise and worship tapes. Get in the word, whatever, Christian TV, whatever it's going to get. Get back into the peace of God. Matter of fact, another thing, start hanging around people that are very spiritual and they know the word of God. Be careful who you're hanging out with. Yeah. Be careful little eyes what you see, little ears what you're hearing. So be careful. Guard everything. Guard and protect the anointing on your life. Guard and protect the call of God on your yeah. life. And I, it's just Amen. a decision. And sister, it's just a decision. And don't be dating men that, that are not in God. Date, only date men that are Christians and that God approves of, you know? And the same thing with, uh, with my younger brothers that are in college tonight. You know, be careful who you're around. Yeah. You don't need to be going to party. You have a party inside of you. It's called a Holy Ghost party, right? Yeah. Amen. You know, people are like <laughs> elevators. They either take you take you up or take you down. Man. And when you're around the right people, they will take you to a higher place. And the right people, the right friends for you, the right relationships will pull the gold out of you. They will develop you in God, wow. take you higher. It, it, the, the right people will bring out the best reality of who you are in God. True. And they'll multiply it and, and true. expand it. And, and you know when it's that right person yeah. that you're around because you sense it in your spirit. Yeah. Your, your heart burns. Now, yeah. it's, it's like the two guys on the road to Emmaus. They said, did not our hearts, hearts burn. burn within us? Yes. Because Jesus was, was with God. them fellowshipping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, we may not physically see Jesus walking with us. Right. But when he's with us, with another person, yep. our hearts burn. And we get more on fire. <laughs> we get more Full of the joy, yes, full of the do. peace, yes, full of the love of God. Like right now, some of passionate. you are starting to laugh. That's okay. <laughs> that means that peace is returning. The joy of the Lord is your strength. <laughs> just, just lay your hands on your stomach and go <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> he always, he always gets the congregation ha 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 ha. <laughs> laugh at yourself. Watch some Laurel and Hardy movies. What, one of your funniest comedians or whatever <laughs> Christian comedian, Christian comedians. Okay, Tim Hawkins is good. Watch Tommy Boy, <laughs> Pastor. <laughs> The movie Tommy Boy. It's oh, you're telling off of it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling off of it. That's okay. But it says, uh, don't let anything pull you out of the rest of God. And he says, Holy Spirit is going to help you to get back into the peace and the rest tonight. Yes. First Corinthians 2 10. He says, the Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. So God's going to go in, the Holy Spirit's going to go in and search the deep things. And then he's going to show you what season you're in. You've got to know what season you're in. Are you about to fix and get promoted? That, that's where I'm at. I'm right at the pinnacle of promotion. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know what the, what promote, you know, promotion brings favor and a new level of grace. <laughs> but you have to pass the test. You have to pass the love test, the money test. You have to pass these little tests that come. It's all about the heart. Tenderize yeah. my heart, God. Yeah. Uh, he wants to make us well-seasoned uh, chefs where we know how to see 
season the meat. You know how to season the word of God. You don't put too much salt. You don't put too much, but you just, it, it's just like when people partake and when you're, when you're breaking bread with them and they're eating what you're feeding them, they're like, oh, I just love that word. God's making you a, a seasoned chef. He's seasoning you just for the right season. Amen. So you're going through things and some of your uh, God's taking you off and he has to apply water. You always apply water to clay. So he's applying his word and he's working his will, the will of the father in you tonight. And I'm excited oh, for yeah. you. I, I knew tonight as we were coming, I said, I told Pastor James, I said, I am so excited about tonight. The fire of God is on me because I know we're going to be on the broadcast tonight to talk to people about getting back in the peace and getting the rest of God back in their life. You know, that that, that, is, that is so true. We need the peace. We need the rest of God in our life all the time, don't we, Carl? Yeah. Another thing he was saying, he says, you know, I know, you know, many of you know what I've, God's called you to do. And he said this word, he said, tell them to get back in formation, get back into formation. Some of you, it could be just going back to church. It could be calling that, calling that pastor or calling that, that youth leader and saying, you know what? The devil put up a block against me with you and was feeding me a bunch of nonsense about you. But you know what? Now I know it was the devil. The devil was trying to steal our relationship and I didn't get it. That's another thing. It's a trick of the enemy. Yeah. Some of you are mad at somebody, but did you ever maybe think it was a trick to get you out of fellowship with that person? Never know. You never know. You have to just check. But the Lord's got a few other things too. We can we can share about it. You know, the, one of the things you mentioned there is the mm -hmm. enemy's tactic is always the same: divide and conquer. Nothing to new bring under the, the sun. Yeah, trying Nothing. to bring division between covenant relationships, and that's why Carl, you know, what you're talking about with peace is so critical, yeah. because we can only stay in peace as we walk in forgiveness. And look, saints, if you're going to interact with people in this life, yeah. you're going to have to forgive people. People are going to do things at times that, that try that are hurtful and they're wrong and they're sinful. Yeah. But you know what? We're not their judge. We're called to love and forgive yeah. and extend grace because what we sow, we reap. And we all want to reap love and forgiveness and mercy and grace. And how do we do that? We sow that yeah. to other people. And when we do that, we can protect those relationships yeah in our life, regardless, you know, somebody makes a mistake or somebody does something, has a bad day. Mm -hmm. We don't hold that against them. We walk in love towards them. We forgive them. And that keeps us at, at peace, you know, also because unforgiveness is liking, is like drinking poison mm -hmm. and expecting the other person to die. Yeah. That's what unforgiveness is like. And yeah. so unforgiveness has no place in our heart, right. right, Carl? Yeah, no, it doesn't have no place. And, and when that unforgiveness comes in, you know, when you get out of the will of God, you lose your peace. Yeah. Your, and your mind just gets bombarded. The enemy starts screaming at you. You're like, whoa, whoa, what is this? And the Lord says, you forgive, forgive Alex, forgive Tony, forgive whoever it was. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. But another thing he says, if the devil showed up, there must be something in you he wants to stop. So if the enemy has taken a week or two and he showed up against you and coming against your mind, trying to steal your peace, trying to steal your joy, what is it he in you <laughs> that he is trying to stop? For sure. He's trying to stop your assignment, yeah. my brother, yeah. my sister. There's an assign. We're all assigned minds to promote the Holy Spirit. He wants to stop our assignments. Amen. So that's something to consider. There's always, there's always a reason why maybe you're in a situation. What can I learn? What can I glean from this situation in this season? That's so good. You know, as you mentioned that, the Bible says that all things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to scripture. his purpose. Now, here's the thing. If you love God and you're <laughs> called according to his purpose, everything that happens to you is not God, <laughs> for sure. Like in this life, there's going to be things happen to you, definitely not God. But in spite of that, God's <laughs> like, I can take, somebody can deal me, um, uh, uh, deal me a hand with a pair of, you know, pair of twos and God can somehow win the hand <laughs> Come on. and beat a royal flesh with a pair of twos. Ooh, Why is that? Only because God, God can take any situation and make the devil pay for it. And here's another thing that I learned that some time ago, and it, it helped me is if there is something that is bothering me 
and getting to me, that's actually a blessing because it shows me where I need to grow. That is Where true. there's a chink in my armor that I need to say, Lord, fix that area of my heart or mind so and true. strengthen me. So it's actually a blessing even to see where my weaknesses are because mm-hmm. then I know how to go, okay, Lord, strengthen me in this area <laughs> yeah, and yeah. help me in this area yeah. to overcome so that you know next time yeah. when that same thing comes, it doesn't steal my peace for a day or two. Right. Instead, I can just walk in victory yeah. and overcome and not skip a beat. Yeah, and you know... Uh, Peace is the most important thing for you because without it, you you can't even sleep at night. You stay up, watch TV late at night, and you're just your mind will not shut down. But that peace of God keeps your heart and your it guards your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. There was another thing, and the Lord said, uh, "Now the Lord is the Spirit." And where the spirit of the Lord, there's liberty. Tonight, you're getting your liberty back. You're going to be liberty tonight. God's going to set, you remember Lady Liberty? God's going to set you free in in the liberty of God. So where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. That's why you'll know you have liberty. God has not put you in a bunch of rules and regulations. God loves you. And he says, you know what? Be yourself and have fun. All I want you to do is go have fun in me. Amen. And it's safe. Be go have fun and be yourself. God doesn't need other you to be like a Billy Graham or anybody else. If that's what, you know, that could be somebody you glean from, that's okay. But God's called you being there's something you and your uniqueness and with your personality that people will be drawn to because you're like Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's, <laughs> that's so true that God can't anoint the person I'm not. Yeah. God can't anoint the person you're not. It's in authenticity yeah. and being who we really are in Christ. That it, It's so interesting because, yes, it's the anointing that comes upon you, but God doesn't violate your personality. No. He keeps your personality intact, but he enhances it greatly. He does, but <laughs> he, he, he just wants us to have that liberty. He does. Just to have that liberty. Because if, when you don't have no joy... <laughs> and you've lost your and you've lost the peace of God, then you don't have no liberty. Amen. Yeah. So with that comes liberty. With your joy coming back and your peace coming back, that liberty breaks open. And people say, Man, he is so free. <laughs> and you know what? You can tell him, well, guess what? Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Amen. You know, the, <laughs> the thing you have peace over is the thing you have authority over. Ooh. Um I'll give you two stories about that. One is from the Bible and one is a personal experience. And that is in one story, Jesus slept in the middle of a storm and the storm he could sleep in is a storm he could rise up and rebuke. So it isn't that there isn't a storm going on around us, but the storm is not happening within us. And where we're seated in heavenly places, there isn't a storm there. So we're, if we live out of heaven, from heaven to earth, there can be a storm going on around us, but you can be in perfect peace. And this reminds me that the natural illustration I was thinking about is uh, Prophet Chris Vallon, Vallotton, who's uh, part of Bethel Church. He had this time in his life where he would be asleep at night and there was this demon that would show up at the foot of his bed with red eyes. Whoa. And he would rebuke it and take authority over it and it wouldn't go. It just stayed there. Oh, and and it, it, he was going through all kinds of anxiety and couldn't sleep at night. You know, it was really bothering him. And finally, he got to where he was just at total peace. And he woke up one night and looked at it and just went right back to sl- sleep. And it left and it never came back. When he got to a point where he had no fear of it, no fear, no worry about no it, it just left. It just no left. No torment. Yeah, no torment because that's what peace does. It gets you where the enemy, peace is like a cocoon of the grace and the love of power of what God that is impenetrable. What a good it word. makes you impenetrable to the enemy. And the enemy's like, they're walking in peace. I can't touch them. Man. And the Bible even says this, the God of peace shall soon crush Satan underneath your feet. It's so interesting. That's for us. The God of peace. That's for us tonight. Yeah, the God of peace it's is crushing crush the enemy. The enemy. So there's, there's a great um, linkage between authority and and peace, peace and dominion. When we walk in peace, and how do we get that peace? You know, one of the scriptures to me that brings me tremendous peace is Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread or trample upon serpents and scorpions (laughs) and over all the power of the enemy. And listen to the end of it. And nothing Nothing. shall by any means harm you. You know, right now there's a lot of people in our nation that are 
terrified mm -hmm. that this coronavirus is going to just go through the nation yeah. and wreak havoc. And the Lord, you know, wanted me to get in tonight a little bit to Psalms 91. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get into that for just a second here. Yeah. I'm going to read a few verses to you out of Psalms 91. I'm going to read verses 1 through 6 and verse 10. I'm going to read them in a few different translations. I want you to listen to this and let it feed your faith that in spite of what's going on in our nation with this virus and what a lot of people are scared of, you don't have to be scared at all. Let me read this. Psalms 91 verses 1 through 6. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. There shall no evil befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. Now I have a couple other translations of some of these verses that are really good. Amplified it says, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. The RSV says, he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High, who abides in the shadow of the That's Almighty, us. That's us. he will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. The Young's literal translation, he who is dwelling in the secret place of the Most High, in the shade of the mighty lodges habitually, he is saying of Jehovah. The basic translation, Happy is he whose resting place is in the secret of the Lord and under the shade of the wings of the Most High, who says of the Lord, he is my safe place and my tower of strength. He is my God. He will take you out of the bird net and keep you safe from wasting disease. You will have no fear of the evil things of the night or of the disease which uh, takes men in the dark. The Smith translation, he who dwells, says the Lord, no disaster will befall you, nor calamity come near your tent. The Leaser translation, he who sits under the secret protection of the Most High shall rest under the shadow of the Almighty. The Knox translation, he who lives under the protection of the Most High, under his heavenly care, content to abide, can say to the Lord, you are my support and my stronghold, my God and whom I trust, it is he that rescues me from every treacherous snare, from every whisper of harm, Man. sheltered under his arms, under his wings nestling, you are safe. His faithfulness will throw a shield about you. Nothing shall you have to fear from nightly terrors, from the assault of man or friend under the noon. There is no harm that can befall you. The Living Bible, his faithfulness, his faithful promises are your armor. Yeah. The Good News Bible, he will keep you safe from all hidden dangers and from all deadly disease and no disaster will strike you. No violence will come near your home. Thank you, Lord. The Beck translation, and from the deadly plague, the plague ravaging at noon, nor the devastating plague at noon, nor of the deadly disease that wastes at midday or the plague raging at noonday, <laughs> noonday no disaster <laughs> shall befall you. you no Lord. calamity shall come upon your home nor the plague that destroys at midday think of all these Man. promises they're saying the same thing Man. plague disease <laughs> destruction calamity all these horrible things demonic assignments it does it can't come near us <laughs> god says we dwell in the secret place <laughs> we have divine protection we are protected by him and when you realize that Man. you don't have to fear a coronavirus <laughs> you don't have to fear any other virus <laughs> you don't have to fear a little bacteria they all have a name but we've been given the name above every name the name of jesus Man. in which every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things on earth and things under the earth and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord yeah. to the glory of God the Father. Saints of God, you don't have to fear anything because greater is he that's oh. in you than he that's in the world. Right, Carl? Yeah, so encourage people, you know, encourage people. Say, I'm not scared of no, I ain't scared of no ghost. 
interest me where the movie goes, but I'm not scared of no coronavirus. I ain't scared of no cancer. I ain't scared of no disease. Right. No, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And that's us, brother. That's right. Nothing formed against us. It'll it'll be it'll form, but it won't prosper. You know, that reminds <laughs> me of the story of John G. Lake. John G. Lake was working in South Africa Power. when the yeah. bubonic plague was happening. Mm -hmm. And he was working, caring for all these people. And many of these people were dying. And he had been working in there a long time in these tents with all these sick people with this highly contagious disease. Yeah. And finally, this doctor says to him, how is it that you've been here this whole time and you've never gotten sick and died like all these other people? And John G. Lake said, I believe the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. And he said, doctor, go over to one of those patients right when they die and all this foam will come up out of their lungs from this bubonic plague. And he said, now take those that foam and put it on a slide and look at it under the microscope. The doctor did and he looked at it, it was teeming with living germs and plague and, and bacteria and stuff like that, that, that was this bubonic plague. Yeah. And he said, now bring foam from that person that just died and put it on my hand for a second. The doctor did, he put it on his hand. He said, now scrape it off my hand and put it, look at it under the microscope again. And all the plague was there, but every bit of it was dead, not one living cell. He said, the power of God is on me. And because I believe God and I believe the law of, law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, when sickness or disease touches me, I'm like a bug zapper. Peter was like a bug zapper. Peter would walk through the streets and his shadow would overshadow people around him. That and the very amazing. power, electric power of that God would come off of Peter and heal those around him. We can walk in such a way. It's available to you, saints. Yes. It's available to me. It's available to you, Carl. Yeah. Where when sickness even touches us, Thank it God. dies. Thank you, we God. are untouchable. We don't have to fear any corona disease or any Lyme disease that might go with it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a little bit of a... People are worried about tick, Lyme disease. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Corona and Lyme. Yeah, you know, yeah, so. yeah. yeah. <laughs> none of it. You don't have to fear any of it, right? Right, right. You don't have to fear none of it, no. <laughs> because no, no weapon formed. It'll form, but it won't prosper. That's right? right. And so encourage people. What we're doing tonight is encouraging you. Call people up and say, listen, I just want to call. How's your peace? How's, how's the joy of the Lord? How are you doing in the Lord? And I remember my uncle years ago, he always asked me, how are you in the Lord doing? So I want to ask you tonight, how are you in the Lord doing? How, how is serving God? Is it working for you? <laughs> is it something that you need to do? You know, I, I mean, what is it? You know, how's everything going? And I hope it's going good for you because it is for me. Amen. But faith worketh by love. My faith will always work because I know God loves me, Pastor. Yeah. I know God loves me. He'll never leave me. He'll never forsake you. Right now, where, where you're at, he'll won't, he's not going to leave you or forsake you. That's why I'm here and James is here. We're here to encourage you because God's not going to leave you. He's not going to leave you broken and undone. We're here to mend you up and say, come on, it's back into formation. You know, Get back in our formation. Yes, and something you just said that is so critical to peace is the goodness of God. You know, until you get a revelation of God is good and God loves me. When you say God loves me, you know what's tied to God loves me? God is good to me. Because Moses cried out, said, Lord, show me your glory. And Moses said, I'm going to hide you in the cleft of the rock. And here's his, God's response. I will cause all of my goodness to pass before you. If Moses could have all the goodness of God pass before him as a revelation from God the Father to him in the old covenant, when we have a better covenant mm -hmm. established upon better, better promises, promises, that means that I can pray a prayer like this. Lord, if you did that with Moses in the old covenant, Lord, cause all of your goodness to pass before me that I may, I might get a revelation of what a good God I have known and I have believed the love of God. You see what you said, Carl, when I know and I get a personal revelation that God loves me and God is good to me. Yeah. Every day of my life, the Father cares for me. Yeah. The Father loves me. He sends me blessings every day because he loves me. Rooted and grounded in love. Ro yeah. That's where that's where you're at. You're learning to get rooted and grounded in love. It's part of maturity. 
whether you want to grow up or not, you're going to mature in rooted. I'm rooted in ground. Say it to yourself. I'm rooted and grounded in love. It, it is. <laughs> and every day you get, as you live your life, when you get an awareness of this love of God, everything just happens to bless you. Let me give you an yeah. example. A couple of days ago, um, we had a blender that was about 10 years old and I was blending a protein shake <laughs> and uh, it had some mango in it. <laughs> and somehow the mango <laughs> went through the side of the carafe and blew up the carafe of the of the blender. <laughs> and and uh, I looked online to look at a blender and the 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 carafe and it was like $150 because this was a high-end blender. <laughs> and I thought, well, before I do that, I'm just gonna go check out what blenders are. I mean, they just God even cares about blenders. Yeah. So we're <laughs> I'm with my wife and and we go to a couple places and <laughs> the one we want is Five hundred dollars. Yeah, it's a Vitamix, a really nice yeah. one, you know. But I wasn't going to pay. No, I wasn't going to pay. He can come to my house. My <laughs> wife bought one, and we've never used it once. <laughs> she had to have it, yeah. and we haven't used it once. So here's uh. what, so here's what happens. <laughs> my wife says, "Hey, why don't we stop by Dillard's on the way home?" She wanted to look at a piece of furniture because there. And so we went over there, and and we thought, you know what? Let's go check out. In the appliances, they probably don't have a Vitamix. We went there, <laughs> and, there was and the model. the model we were going to get, there was a much better model there, oh. and it was sixty percent off. And the next day, it was going forty percent off. So, an over five hundred dollar Vitamix we got for like one hundred and seventy five dollars. What? Yeah, it was like eighty percent off. It was. It I was love Vitamixes. Yeah, so because it was they like, even make soup. You can make yeah. soup, and it makes it hot. <laughs> yeah, because it goes so fast. It'll, I, the guy said, "Try that soup." I'm like, "Oh my gosh, it's hot!" Now Vitamix, you can send us some royalties. Since yeah, we're come on. Talking about Vitamix, come but on. anyway, I'm just saying, like something <laughs> that would have been really expensive, yeah. we paid like a third and got a better one. God, the favor of God will just work in your and life. She just happened to want to go by Dillard's. She just happened. Uh, you know, and. and you know, she was led by the spirit. That's She's how a prophet. God does. She, that's know. how God does us. Like before I came, I, I came here, <laughs> oh, yeah. I met some people at a clothing store and oh my gosh, they are on fire for God. And they, you know, just wanted to get to know, they wanted my phone number and everything. But you know, it's the feet of a righteous person are ordered of God. They are. And God will lead people to you if you're a lover and it, it's all about him. It always has to be all about him. And he'll lead the right people into your life if your eyes are always on the Lord. They are. In any time, you know. And people are the most precious treasure on uh, this planet. They are. People are the only thing the Lord is going to take off this earth. And that's it. That's the harvest. That's so we it. have got to be people who are always looking for a way to love people. And here's the thing. If you will make it your goal in life, to, to love people with the love of God. Mm -hmm. He will give you words of knowledge. He'll give you words of prophecy. Yeah. He'll give you his supernatural equipment mm -hmm. because as you said, Carl, mm -hmm. faith works by love. The operation of the power of God mm -hmm. works by not only faith, but by having a right heart motive and loving people. Yeah. And when you really love people, God will use you to, he'll make you a blessing. Yeah, because his love, you know, uh, Sean Bowles yeah. teaches us, let me be a conduit of your love. Who do you want to love on today, God? And that's something you can say. You like Carl? I want to start prophesying or giving words to people. We'll just say, Lord, who who do you want to love on today? Who do you want to encourage in today? And so that's another that's another thing. And the Lord says, what used to be isn't true anymore. So even as we log off tonight, what was isn't true anymore, okay? So what you were going through isn't true anymore. We're letting that go when we're pulling on God and the promises of God. And we're drawing back into our peace. We're getting back into the strength of God. We're getting back into the joy. So what was before the show is no more. It's over. And you go encourage somebody else. Say, you know what? Now I want to be a conduit as James and Carl were a conduit and spoke into my life. I want to go and re to whom much is given, much is required, you know, and whatever you've got, just give it out. What God's sharing with us through us tonight, you go give it out to somebody and just let this word keep on going. Hey Amen. I want to uh, do some shout outs and then we're going to pray. Come on. Pray for people. Um, let's see. Steve, Stephen and Tiffany Hart. God bless you. Leah Bennett. Bless you, Chelsea, Candace, and uh, Shackelford. God Moser bless you. <laughs> is watching. We Angela love y'all. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see here. I'm, I'm going down farther. Uh, Deborah Monday. God bless you. Luke Deborah. Kelly. 
Chico Perez, Barbara Raftery, Chico, <laughs> Josh Neese, Linda Griswold, Jennifer McCrary, uh, Jim Van Sickle. God bless you, Jim. Uh, Joy, uh, Joy's watching us. Latasha, Wa Prophet Latasha Watson. God bless you, Prophet. Come on. And uh, Hasey Campos. God bless you, James South. Uh, Melinda Tyree Bonner is watching us. Stacy Chase. Uh, Prophet Simon Obert. He's from. Uh, Colorado Springs, met him at Bethel. Awesome. Come prophet. on, Simon. Come awesome on, brother. Prophet of the Lord. Come and, on, uh, brother. I, I don't know that I got to everybody, but those some some of the people that have been watching, we are so blessed that you'd watch this tonight. If it's been a blessing and you want to share this out, but yeah. Carl, we want to pray for people. Right? Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's let's pray for people. Let's do it. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Father, we just pray right now right in now, Jesus' God. name. We just Lord, we thank you for peace, Power. the peace of God yes. that passes all understanding yes. in Christ Jesus to just guard the hearts yes. and the minds of the people of God. Father, yes, we pray God. for a fresh anointing a because fresh as we're filled anointing. with the Holy Spirit yes. afresh, the yes. love of God is shed abroad Lord, in our heart by God. the Holy Spirit. Yes, and that overcoming spirit, the Holy Spirit is the overcomer. Yes. He comes inside us yes. and, and, and changes our Lord, thinking. Sure. Father, we pray for the minds of yes. the people of God. Touch we mind. come against any uh, lies of the devil. Yes. And we pray that your spirit, the spirit of truth, yes. would release truth yes. that would transform the thinking patterns of yes. your people. Yes. Your word says great peace have they which love your law and yes. nothing shall offend them. Yes. You shall keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed upon thee yes, because he God. trusteth in thee. Yes, when God. we keep our minds stayed on the Lord and stayed upon his promises, yes, we start to move out of fear yes. and anxiety and worry and we move into peace. Whatever yes. you have, Carl, just yes. release it. Thank you, Father. Uh, Sean, I just, uh, uh, there's somebody out there named Sean. Sean, I just hear the Lord saying, uh, look up, Sean, for your redemption draws nigh. He's coming. He's coming to your rescue. He's coming to make a way where there seems to be no way. He's the only one that can make a way where there seems to be no way. Only God. Thank Hallelujah. you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. God. Let's just we pray in tongues you. for a minute. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> we connect with you. Come on, show that light. Yes, Father. Show that light. Yes, Father. Show that light. 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 Yes, God. Feel. Feel. Show that light. Show that light. Yes. <laughs> Let that just touch your belly. Out of your belly yeah. shall flow rivers. Yes. Rivers, rivers of living, of living water. water. <laughs> Let that joy just touch, <laughs> touch, <laughs> touch. We cancel. We cancel every, every assignment against your life. We cancel it. Yeah. Only the assignments of God will work. Only the, assi <laughs> the assignments of the enemy <laughs> stop. <laughs> null and void. No more. Thank no you, more. Father. The blood of Jesus you, is covered. You're covered in the blood. The blood. The name Thank that is you, above Lord. every name. You're covered. Hallelujah. Lynette, the Lord's touching you. Lynette, just lift up holy hands. Lynette, God's touching you. Hallelujah. As we pray in tongues, we're praying out mysteries and secrets and we're edifying ourselves. If you pray in tongues, begin to pray right now. If you don't, Father, fill them with the Holy Spirit yes. right there in their home, right there in their living room, wherever they're at. Yes. Lord, just fill them with the baptism of the Holy Spirit, fill. with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. Yes. Give them their heavenly language. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Joy unspeakable. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Isn't that easy? Yeah. I see somebody in the middle of your back. You have pain in the middle of your back and your spine, and the Lord is healing that right now in Jesus' name. There's healing being released. Begin to bend over or move and check it out as the presence of God comes and the pain leaves your back. I also yes. see kidneys being healed now. Yes. Kidneys being restored to full functionality yes. in full Jesus' function. name. Full, full, function. full functionality. Cool. Healings. That, Lord, stretch forth your <laughs> hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done in the name of your Mighty holy, holy name. child Jesus. And yes. I see migraine oh, headaches that people have been suffering yes. with. I take authority over that Hold band yes. that's been around your head and I yes. break it break in it. Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, for healing Strong that migraine Lord. headaches are leaving people now. Yes. If if this if you're watching this now and one yes. of these words of knowledge 
applies yes. to you. Yes. Just respond yeah. on the feed. We're trying yeah. to watch what's happening. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is God is moving in healing yes, right, now. right now. Now, whatever you need sure healing know. of, yes. whatever, just put your hand on yeah. that part of your body. Right, and we say in Jesus' name, yes. be healed now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we command yes. and we demand, we demand all sickness and disease we to demand. leave your body now, now, in Jesus' name. All so pain, pain. Da 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 all sickness. Pain, pain leave now. I'm seeing... The stomach and the colon. Um, uh, what is it? Were they um, uh, allergic to gluten? Yes. Being healed right yes. now. Healed. That gluten problems or Crohn's disease yes. being healed. Yes. And I was also hearing ulcers yes. from worrying going from people's bodies in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank yes. you, Lord, for doing miracles. Sciatica. Sciatica. Yeah. No. yeah. So I, you're having a sciatica problem. problem. What God reveals, God heals. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And many of you are getting in touch with joy. You're letting that joy bubble. Joy does good like a medicine. The healing of our body comes through joy. You know, one thing about joy that they may not know, Carl, you could on on purpose begin to drink of the Spirit. The Bible says with joy... Do we draw waters, waters out of the wells of salvation? So as we begin Love to laugh, Lord. the Holy Spirit fills us. Love that you Lord. can laugh on purpose. Ha, ha, ha. ha, ha and ha. then as you start to laugh by faith, the Holy Spirit will yeah. get on it. And yeah. you'll start laughing yeah. even more, right? Yeah. Ha, I, ha, ha, I, ha. I was told uh, in Norman, Oklahoma, a prophet came up to me. He started laughing. He goes, oh, you're God's joy boy. And as we started the broadcast tonight, I said, the joy boys are in the house. So now you have never, in our services, you'll hear him. Him and I, Pastor and I, laugh. I usually sit on the front row somewhere over by, and we laugh through worship and praise. Yeah. And that joy, that joy, the devil hates the joy, but I love the joy. Hallelujah. <laughs> the joy of the Lord's your strength. Hallelujah. It's all right to laugh thank and be you, different. Father. Amen. Yes. Glory thank you, God. Lord. Hallelujah. And if yes. you're watching this and um, you think somebody else will be blessed by this, oh, yeah. just share that broadcast out on your Facebook timeline. That's a, that's a digital seed you can sow to get the gospel out because we live in a time, Carl, yeah. where people can share the gospel digitally online. You can, if you go to this broadcast and you love it and you share it and you comment on it, we would love to hear where you're watching from, like Please. what city Tell in us the United everything. States. If you'll comment, yeah. we just, it, we loved getting um, just feedback. It tells yeah. us that we're doing something that's going to help people and bless people. And we want to know you. We want to. Yeah. We want to do this more often. Him and I. And if you like what what you heard tonight, and you really received, comment to Pastor. Let Pastor know. I want Brother Carl on there again. I like that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Well, this has been this has been a blast being with you tonight. Uh, my name is James Fortune. And Carl and Fletcher. Carl Fletcher, and I pastor the church in Edmond, Oklahoma called Oasis Church. And I'm going to tell you when our times are 6 p.m. on Saturday nights, we meet at 16,000 Northwestern Avenue in Edmond, Oklahoma. And you can go to our website, www.edmondoasis.tv and find out all about our church when we meet. Our connect groups, we have powerful connect groups. We have people that, that are just awesome people in this church. And our oh. vision is experience God, connect his family, and build yeah, revivalists. Revival. That's what we want to do. We want you to experience God. We want you to connect this family. We want to connect with the body of Christ, of whom the whole family oh. in heaven and earth is named. And then we are here to build re revivals. Well. Carl and I are both apostles. And um, and so our, our job is to build the body the of body. Christ, to help you step into who you are yeah. and the max to maximize yeah. the call and gift and, and, and anointings and talents that you have. We're, yeah. we're called to equip the saints. And even they can log in on Saturday nights and watch our services live. Listen, there's yeah. nothing like our services. If you can make it or even fly in to Oklahoma City and be here in Edmond, Oklahoma on a Saturday night, it is so worth it. Our, our services are amazing. I tell everybody about our services. We move in the gifts of the Spirit. We just let the Holy Spirit, these are, they're Spirit-led services completely. Yeah, and and one of the things you mentioned, Carl, is if you're on Facebook, you can go to Oasis Church, and if you'll like Oasis Church, and then click where you can click about notifications when we go live every Saturday night at 6 p.m. Where, wherever you are in the United States, we have a an HD broadcast. 
in high quality that comes up. And so we broadcast our services out there. We just want to get the gospel out. Yeah. We also have a YouTube channel. You can go to James Fortune at Oasis Church. We have uh, around 400 teachings on every subject you can imagine. You can go on there and subscribe. And every week we have new things coming out on our YouTube channel to help yeah. the body of Christ. It's all to teach people the word, to yeah. equip them for their calling and destiny and purpose, to build up the body of Christ, and most of all, to lift up the name of Jesus because his name is above every name. Right, Carl? There ain't nobody like Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. That, Jesus is the greatest thing. He's the greatest. He, he is the He changed way. my life. Yeah. Yeah. I never thought I'd be called to be a preacher. <laughs> never. I never thought I'd be doing this. But look, 40 years later, glory to God. Amen. <laughs> he is so wonderful. Hallelujah. And, and we can't end this broadcast without saying this. No. If you've never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, Please. the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord call shall be you. saved. Jesus became man. He yeah. went to the cross for you. He bore your sin yeah. and death and punishment on the cross. He rose again the third day. Yeah. And whoever calls upon his name Who's for so salvation man? shall be saved. So if you don't know Jesus, you can say, Jesus, I receive you as my yes. Lord and Savior. I believe you died on the cross mm -hmm. for my sins. I believe you rose again the third day. I make you the Lord of my life. And from this day you. forward, oh I'll God. follow you all the days of my life. Yes. If you've prayed that prayer, please reach out to us. Yes, please uh, tell us. Uh, let us know. We want to send you information. Yes. We want to pray for you. We want to help We you. want to bless you.